effectively it's probably going to answer one of your questions but we've got a hundred designs in our base set and uh there's 10 sets of 10 so um they'll be released as as we go on but we've got like 80s and 90s and 8-bit and uh uh space themes and all sorts of different themes and they're very different because they're designed by very different artists Yeah, and we can see over there we have this uh, the 80s theme, and and the, most of them are uh, probably the space theme, if I if I say something, uh, yes. and and they are they're very sweet, so I I like them, and they are different. And now you say there's a hundred of them, uh, so let's dig into these questions because Ben, who built, it's not you, the Ben, Ben that built Wax Explorer, yep. which is this great platform to to dig into the NFT space on Wax. How will the mint numbers be on these uh, these cogs? Yeah, it's a good question. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently, um, partly working with the technology and what it can do, as well as also um, doing things a little bit uh, differently from what we've seen other collections do. Um, how it will basically work is uh, we will have 100 base designs and then we'll have 12 cogs slammers. So the slammers, uh, for those who have never played other thicker, heavier pieces that you use to, to smack the, the deck or smack the um, stack of hogs. So let's stop um, that and go into the game if, if someone hasn't played it. You just said you can smack, the, smack them, but what does that mean? Yeah, so what happens is you take your cogs in this case and you put them face down um, and two players come together and put a, a stack of cogs face down together. Then what they do is they get a, yep, and they, well, they, yep, they put the piles down and then they get a slammer. They take it in turns and they hit that with a heavier disc on top and whatever flips upright that person keeps um so this stack goes on two or three more times and you keep hitting it until the, the last cogs are turned over and that's how you determine who wins so um you can't have a game of pogs or cogs without having a slammer so we've got 12 different slammer designs and 100 base designs but they'll be based on the sets so um certain pictures or certain artwork will be more limited in its, um, uh, you know, how many there are, they'll be rarer based on its, based on the artwork itself. So it's not necessarily a matter of saying, um, take tops, for example, they have one picture and then they have four different types of that picture. They have like your base and your prism yeah. and your tiger scratch or whatever. Ours is not like that. Ours is, we've got different borders and we've got different colors of rings and we've got different thickness on the outside because they look kind of like casino chips as you can see yeah um so so the the colors of the letters and the thickness of the borders and the color on the outside of the of, of the rim also helps determine the rarity of those uh individual cogs so there'll be 10 sets of 10 each with the same theme um so People can collect either by the set or they can collect the whole lot if, they, if they're uh, game enough and, and lucky enough to get the whole hundred. 